Betty, that's wrong. Let me show you again. You use this control to get your focus, you see? All right, and this one here in the right-hand corner to lock the sweep. There we are. Now, now let's try it again. Well, there's someone here to see you. Are you Mr. Bradshaw, the foreman? Yes. Mr. Donnelly up in personnel said for me to give you this card. I'm your new uh, bearings inspector. Oh? Oh, well, now, uh, I'll be with you in just a minute. No, no, one at a time. Well, I'll be back later to go over this with you, Betty. Just in the meantime, do the best you can. Would you follow me, please? Sure. Um, just have a seat here. I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly. Well, Mr. Bradshaw, what's on your mind? Bearings, Inspector. She's a good one, too. Just look at that record. Okay, now, Walt, you've had your little joke. Give her to somebody else. I ask for a man. We don't have a man with her qualifications. Seriously, Brad, if you treat her right, she might make you a darn good employee. What do you mean, treat her right? Get that chip off your shoulder. What's wrong with her? She's a woman, isn't she? Now, wait a minute. You got a lot of women in your department. What's wrong with one more? Did you ever hear of the straw that broke the camel's back? They're good workers. Accurate, quick to catch mistakes, a lot of patience. Yeah, yeah, but that comes out of books. I work with them, mister. I know what happens. What does happen? Well, it's a long story. Come on now, tell me. What does happen? Maybe I've been misinformed. Not so long ago, you sent me a girl by the name of Myrtle Malloy. Remember? I remember. As per her qualifications, I assigned her to an inspection bench. Well, in a matter of days, that bench looked more like her dressing table. And then came the day when... Uh, Joe, will you take your stuff back to table nine? That'll be your bench for the time being. Okay, Chief. Uh, Myrtle, uh, we're moving you to table number 10. Is something wrong, Mr. Bradshaw? No. No, nothing's wrong. We just need this space for something else. Well, I sure hate to give it up. It's been a nice place to work. The light's good here, and it's nicely situated right in the middle of things. I just began to feel at home. Well, I'm sorry, Myrtle, but table 10 will have to be your work area for the time being. You mean there's liable to be another change? There's always that possibility. Well, I certainly hope I'm not moved every other day. With man, no trouble at all. Tell him what you want, and he does it. But with Myrtle, a little move is a big production. Okay, and, okay. Now, wait a minute. You ask me, now let me tell you. Now, here's another problem. Oh, Mr. Bradshaw, I wanted to tell you that the date is set for my marriage. I'll be leaving soon. Marriage? Mm -hmm. I thought you just got engaged. Well, I told you about it six months ago. We were only waiting till we could find a place to live. Six months ago? Brother. Well, how soon are you leaving? Well, the end of next week. Well, that'll really put us in a bind around here. It takes time to break in a relief, girl. Yes, I know it does. I wonder... Why didn't you say something? I didn't realize you were getting married right away. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Bradshaw, but, but I really thought you knew. We've all been talking about it. Okay, Brad, but how many blushing brides do you have? Besides, what's all this got to do with Dolly, the new girl? She's already married, and she's a qualified bearings inspector. You know what I was doing when this new girl came in a few minutes ago? No. I was trying to cope with one of the biggest... That's wrong. Let me show you again. You use this control to get your focus, you see? All right, and this one here in the right-hand corner to lock the sweep. There we are. Now, now let's try it again. Well, there's someone here to see you. 
Are you Mr. Bradshaw, the foreman? Yes. Mr. Donnelly up in personnel said for me to give you this card. I'm your new uh, bearings inspector. Oh? Oh, well, uh, I'll be with you in just a minute. No, no, one at a time. Well, I'll be back later to go over this with you, Betty. Just in the meantime, do the best you can. Would you follow me, please? Sure. Um, just have a seat here. I'll, uh... Mm -hmm. 